Hey guys, it's Bang for about PC Gamer here. Uh, a few of you have been asking me for a step-by-step -step, um, guide to how to set up the EPSXE PlayStation 1 emulator. Um, so I want to break this down into a few steps. Uh, I just want to start off by saying um, you really do not need a powerful system um, to run this emulator. You could pretty much run it with a really, really old laptop and I've been doing so for a long time. Um, obviously, I'm using quite a high specification PC at the moment, but I'm just wanting to make sure that you know that you don't actually need one to run this emulator. So, I'm going to start off with step one. You're going to need to download the emulator itself. So, uh, yes, I am using it in the Explorer. I know that offends a few people, but don't worry about it too much. Um, so, you go to e, you just write in EPSXE, and you'll basically just choose the first um, search result which is epsxe.com and you'll download the latest version 1.9.25 so you go to downloads depending on which operating system you're using Linux, Windows, whatever you download that version of it so once that's done you'll move to step 2 which you configure your emulator so you open the folder and you click the joypad which is the epsxe um, execution file and you'll get this little um, program will pop up EPS EPSXE point 1.9.25 now what you want to do is start your configuration for some reason um, this one's already been done so I'm gonna start it all again for you so you guys gonna have a good look at how to do it so what you do is you start off by choosing your BIOS um, unfortunately you guys won't have one available um, it's something um, that you have to go and find yourself Google is your friend but don't worry about that I'll uh, give you a link in the description to um, some I've already got so it'll save you the time um, I personally use um, the USA BIOS as it's got a higher refresh rate than the UK um, which is at 50 um, I also use Pete's OpenGL driver 2.9 for the graphics. What you're going to want to do is configure that. Um, choose your maximum resolution that you can um, allow and within reason of performance as well. Um, obviously, something like this doesn't really bother my system, so I can pretty much max out um, my resolution. Unfortunately, um, 4K doesn't work, so uh, the maximum resolution I'm able to use is 2560 by 1440. Um, these settings are individual to how much performance you have with your system. I always choose the best available and gets you the best graphics. Now, when it comes to um, texture filtering, I choose um, extended without sprites unfiltered as in some games like Final Fantasy 7 um, you'll get some graphical anomalies so um, I found that this setting in particular doesn't really works with a wide um, a wide array of games so um, you can try it and if it doesn't work for you you can always select something else um, for high rise textures I use stretched so it fills up my screen I always have um, you know, use frames per second limit enabled this box needs to be checked or your games will run too fast and pretty much be unplayable and also um, have this selected or auto to detect a frames per second so you have those two checks um, for compatibility um, again this is up to you all settings will work but um, I use the maximum available to have better graphics now there's this thing called MDEC filter um, obviously games have uh, movies within them and once you check this box it will make movies look a lot less pixelated and they'll look a lot better in quality so check that box now special game fixes when you open this tab it gives you a range of um, special basically patches they've done for individual games for example um, Final Fantasy 7 Final Fantasy 8 has a special fix for it if you want to use that you check this box um, some of the Capcom 2D fighters like Street Fighter Alpha 3 etc um, they've made a special fix for that so you can check that box if you're playing that individual game um, if you're not playing the game you don't need to have that enabled 
So that's pretty much it for graphics. Um, so you can continue with sound. You don't need to do anything at all unless you've downloaded a individual um, plugin that you want yourself. But the default plugin, you don't need to do anything. Um, as for your CD-ROM, if you're actually playing your games off your CD-ROM, um, then you may need to configure um, your drive to which your default CD drive is if you've got more than one. But I personally don't use a drive. I use digital files, so I'm going to basically skip that. Now we come to your controller. I personally choose the DualShock because I'm using a Xbox 360 pad. So you basically assign each key to what button you want. So L1, I use my right shoulder button, which is LB on the Microsoft Xbox 360 pad. And with R2, um, L2, I use LT on my Xbox 360 pad and so on and so forth. So you go around um, and basically assigning every single button to um, your controller which you want to use so that's pretty self-explanatory and that's pretty much it so when it comes to running your games which is step three if it's a digital file which I'm going to show you how to get one now so we're going to go back onto the internet now we're going to go to a website called EMU Paradise um, so that's www.emuparadise.me. I'll put a link in the description for this as well. Um, you can basically search for a game that you like, or you can just click on PSX ISOs. They have 5,123 games presently. And you can download which one you want. So, say a game like Street Fighter EX Alpha. Like, this is something I used to play like ages ago when I used to have a Sony PlayStation so basically you pick the game that you want and then you click the download link sometimes you have to click it more than once and then you download the file once the file is done I've already got this, I was just showing you an example. You open your file, my one's in downloads at the moment, and it will look like this, it will be like a bin file. So once you've got your game, you click run ISO, select your downloaded game, And there you go, the game loads up. That's pretty much all you need to do to get your PlayStation um, emulator running. So I'm just going to have one match just to show you it works fine. <laughs>
So as you can see, the emulator works pretty fine. Um, so hopefully this has helped you out. And uh, if you've got any questions, just uh, give me a message. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and I'll take it from there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, thanks for watching.